Welcome to another review for MBD Entertainment. This is Hobbs Horror. We are reviewing the 2019 film Into the Quarry. And get a good look at the back here. And let's talk about this one a little bit here as this is a thriller film. And what you have with this particular plot is you have a couple that is doing a vacational trip to uh, the girl's hometown. She's with her boyfriend and it's by this quarry. It's like this lake, right? And she gets invited by two of her male friends to come hang out with them. So there's going to be three males and one female in this. And that's pretty much who you see throughout the film. So they go to this quarry for this vacation, you know, and these are longtime friends, older friends, but the, the boyfriend is not really familiar with them too much. He doesn't really know them, right? So he's kind of like, kind of suspect of them. Might think that there's some history with one of them, you know, with her and the boy. So Bruno is the boyfriend and he's, he's kind of reluctant, you know, as the days go by, they keep hearing more that... As they're at this quarry for like this vacation, it's kind of like a lake, but it's kind of like a, uh, it's like a rock quarry. It used to be a really nice lake, but now it's turned into like this, like they call it a spa, like a, uh, like a quarry is what they call it in the film. That's more or less like a spa. It's just not very exciting to go into anymore. There's rumors that this quarry has killed people, things like that, but they still go in there and do it anyway. And uh, there starts to be some tension amongst the, the group. Again, so Bruno is having these these thoughts that maybe she had hooked up with some of these guys even while they were there or even in the past. So he's getting kind of pissed. They start to play a little bit of soccer. Then tensions start to arise again. So you can see kind of the, the blood boiling between a couple of the guys and Bruno, the boyfriend. And the girl is still, she's still trying to, you know, be the peacemaker. But finally she's like, you know what, let's just go out of here. Let's leave. Let's leave the quarry. Let's just go home course as they're trying to drive home their car breaks down and they have to go back to the camp as the guys decided to stay so now we're back in that scenario with the three guys and the one girl that that uh, tension is still arising right so things get to a heated level and events start to occur and i don't want to talk about the events because i don't want to spoil the movie but uh, things take a turn for the worst for them and you'll have to watch the movie to see as this one is a, this is a thriller it's kind of a psychological thriller some people call this a gender thriller basically it's like a exploitation of gender uh, crimes basically it's kind of like a uh, like a chauvinistic assault type thing you know I, I really can't explain but that's what they put in the, the description uh, the gross on this was about $19,000 was the most they made on the film. Uh, it was shot well. I thought the acting was great. I just couldn't get into this movie. There was way, way too much dialogue for me. I wanted there to be more. I wanted something to come up out of the quarry and just fucking bite somebody's head off. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's how I like these type of movies. Uh, that's not how this came out. But, you know, some people might like films with... A lot of dialogue you know this might be one that might be good for someone who's into um, strictly acting based type films they might like this but it it has its moments it was fun at times but really just kind of a letdown for me very on very it's a very slow burn and just massive amounts of dialogue it's an hour and 22 minutes of just dialogue Maybe only one payoff scene, other than the obvious cover art, which is nice. Um, so yeah, I can't recommend this one. I do want to thank MV Entertainment for sending me this to review. Like I said, they've been sending me some dimes up until this point. Uh, anyways, that is my thoughts on the quarry, into the quarry. And uh, catch up with you guys later. Peace.